All three of my daughters are very fun-loving, happy, always getting into mischief type kids. We'd have like fun times and stuff, but the majority of it was fighting. <laughs> but at the end of the day, we'd always um, just smile and laugh about it. Caitlin and I are closer in age than Natalie and I, so I could relate to her a lot easier. The night of the crash, I saw Caitlin about six o'clock. We hugged, kissed. I knew she was going to a gathering that night with friends. And then at 12.20 at night, knock on my door. Worst knock ever on my door. And it's funny because, you know, I looked outside, I saw two police cruisers. I'm thinking, okay, Caitlin got into trouble at the party. So then when I opened the door, I asked, you know, what's going on? They're like, uh, you need to sit. So as soon as they said that, I knew something was wrong. Caitlin was very, very firm about trying to please me. And I wanted her home that night. I was in the shower when she called and left me a message on my cell phone saying, I want you to come pick me up. And that was at about 8.45. And I got out of the shower, got the message right away. So I tried calling it back and no answer. Her and her group of friends were partying like every other teenager. And she decided to make a really bad decision and get in the car with her friend who was intoxicated. According to the police, they were going anywhere between 80 and 90 kilometers an hour. The truck veered off the road. The front passenger side of the truck hit the embankment. Because of the impact, Caitlin's seatbelt broke and ejected her. On the coroner's report, it says that she died on impact. Who knows what was going on in her head that night? I know, you know, she really, really trusted her friends. That was her core friend group. You don't think someone from your core friend group is going to hurt you. You don't think your best friend is going to do you wrong. You think that your best friend would make the smart decision to say, I'm not going to drive you home because I have been drinking. Spend my whole life, you know, trying to protect my kids. And just, I, I felt so many emotions, like right away, I felt like a failure as a parent. I kiss my kids every night. I tell them I love them every night, ever since they were little. And you know, I, I kissed her good night that night, and the next night, but then the third day was the funeral, and I couldn't kiss her good night anymore. I remember having to go and look at my sister before anyone. I almost fainted. You're just not supposed to see your sister in a coffin. <laughs> Unfortunately, teenagers don't really know the severity of substances. It always seems like the cool idea, the good idea. Alcohol is what killed Caleb. Um, I don't blame it on poor driving, human error, because none of that's a factor when you're impaired. When you're impaired, you can't control a motor vehicle. And uh, the alcohol is what killed Caitlin, and the choice of a young man that really didn't think. <laughs>